Lopez Igbo Social Cultural Organization or an Igbo has debunked report that it endorsed the presidential candidates of the All Progressive Congress APC Ahmed Tinumbu. He describes such reports as a lie from the pits of hell. That that is not true at all. Hmm. From the pits of hell. Describe the report as a lie from the pits of hell that is meant to save private interests. Some media platforms earlier reported that the Igbo APS body had dumped Peter B, the Labour Party presidential candidate, and declared support for Tinumbu. The report was credited to the immediate past president of Anise Ndigbo, Lagos State Chapter, Chief Solomon Agwene. He was quoted to have said, since the group was in support of his second term for Governor Babajide Sonwolu of Lagos State, there was nothing wrong in supporting his Sonwolu presidential candidate. But Oanese, in a statement on Tuesday, called on the general public to disregard the report, saying Agwene has no authority to speak for Oanese Ndigbo, Lagos. The statement signed by Oanese spokesman Dr. Alex Obunaya is titled Oanese the Bonk's Endorsement to Tinumbu. The statement reads, The purpose of clarity, Chief Solomon Obuna Agwene was elected the president of Oanese Ndigbo, Lagos State Chapter in June 2018. For a four year tenure in line with the constitution of Oanese Ndigbu. Towards the end of 2021, information reached the national headquarters of Oanese that Agwene was plotting a tenure elongation. Several eminent Igbo dignitaries urged Agwene to resign the contemplation for omnitious tenure elongation and rather learn support for a fresh election for a new executive in line with the constitution of the of the apex Igbo social cultural body an electoral body headed by a seasoned technocrat in the person of Nzi Ozi Chuku Chuku was constituted by the president general for Anis Ndigbo ambassador professor George Obiozo with a mandate to conduct a fresh election for the Lagos State chapter subsequently on June 15 2022 an election was held in which over 750 delegates from several Anese states participated. The election was observed by the Secretary General of Anese Ndigbo Ambassador O.K. Emuche, MFR, Prince Gali, Gari Igariwe, the former President General, the Chairman of the Electoral Panel, Nzi Ozichuku, Chuku Comrade O.K. Uwanko, the President of Abia State Chapter of Anese, among others. At the end of the stiffy contested election, Chief Sunday Osai was declared the winner with 380 votes, while the runner-up, Chief Evarisos Ozinweke, scored 399, 339 votes. It added information reaching on his indigo indicated that Agwene has a secured a tenor and location for a long court. This is, to say the least, very deplorable. Oanese Ndigbo therefore informs the general public that the current president of Oanese Ndigbo Legal State Chapter is Chief Sunday Osai and only the chapter president or an authorized officer to the current, of the current Legal State Executive has the right to speak on behalf of Oanese Ndigbo Legal State Chapter. The general public is requested to disregard reckless statements by impostors challenge unscrupulous social climbers and pretenders whose major objective is more is both mischievous and shady oanese believes that any person with a democratic credential will dissociate self with a person who whose public conduct is at variance with democratic norms and that the agony endorsement to a presidential candidate is hollow it is therefore emphasized that the person who has the right and mandate to make statements on behalf of Oanese Zendigbo in Lagos is the President Chief Sunday Osai. For the avoidance of doubt, the misleading impression that Oanese dumps Obi is from the pits of hell and meant to serve private interests. Such a statement is firmly debunked. Okay. Hmm. Firmly debunked. Well, to me, uh, 
I don't think that this uh, news is really or claim by this uh, so-called Aguin is really fake in the first place because he's still part of Ewanese. Just that uh, he's not uh, the right person who should supposed to say it. So what they are telling us is that if the man who is not the real president uh, of Ewanese in Lagos says they are going to support Inumbu, they themselves, all of them will go in that line. But to me, I don't think uh, that man will just wake up and say this and this and this and that if they didn't agree among themselves. You know, I don't know why or Anese, they are always a uh, pussy footy. Now, or before now, now that uh, PDP has shown them pepe, when they know that uh, their brother is a, uh, is they, they have been looking for uh, somebody from the southeast. But now, this Obi movement has gone beyond whether southeast or what. People are looking at companies. No, but who, who, who uh, uh, ethnicity help? Who region help? Who religion help? It don't help anybody. It has not helped anybody. I'm sure they are beginning to see the handwriting on the wall because this is not a matter of a somebody just sat down somewhere who is not even part of our needs. They just uh, made that statement that said uh, they supported Tinubu, they dumped uh, Petalbi because they themselves they've not been able to take their own stand. They've not taken their stand. Since you guys have not taken your stand, that was why I think that was the loop the the man saw and just to because it's part of you. It's not a matter of a online or social media fake people that always say uh, just write something from somewhere you know the person that wrote it so don't tell us that uh, don't tell us otherwise the best thing is for you to quickly align yourself to do the needful if not hmm. uh what i go past gary what i go really past gary so what were you people waiting for because as it is now you are neither here nor there because you don't even know what you want you are looking for vice presidential position that is not it, it has no meaning and you are the same people who came the other time that said anybody that wants to vice the vice anybody apart from giving the ticket that the person is going to be banned or something. So why are you not coming out to tell us hey, otherwise that you are not looking for that a uh, Okowa betrayed you, betrayed you? What are you saying? Well, Peter B is not campaigning. It is honest and unbiased Nigerians who want to change the status quo are the ones campaigning for him. I never seen such loyalty with that p this is a movement it is either you join or get crushed by the movement even governor baseki has acknowledged that the ob fever is no joke that the pdp and apc need to do something to make their parties more appealing but it is too late because i am obedient already after listening to a basic interview i just drew conclusion that peter is a serious threat to pdp and apc if sdp party can dismantle pdp in a kitty state, Peter will do more than that. Peter will be his demand. I and my family choose him. Uh, vote goes to him. If you hate him, then you hate progress. APC and PDP are regressive parties and we wish we should abstain from them. Peter will be is the president. Nobody believes them because even Muslims will reject that Muslim Muslim ticket because it's a plot against all the Two faithful groups of Christians and Muslims. Peter B is a torch bearer and a seeker. You will not understand him, but you just have to follow him because he's God sent. Nigeria will never rise as long as people prefer a thief from his own tribe, religion, and region to a good person from another region. Then you ask, what is the essence of his so called religion? That person is also a criminal waiting for his own opportunity where a typical nigerian prefers a bad leader from his tribe than a good leader from other tribes this is how our problem started but this one resolved in the case this one reverses the case they are scared because the nigeria they have destroyed using tribe and religion lines no longer working for them Ashim doesn't even know tribal religion, obedience all the way. It is a movement to rescue Nigeria. We know they give shishi for better economy. No, they give shishi. No, they give shishi. So, guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this.